And welcome back to ARC Salt Lake, where we cover authentic, relevant, and community stories. A big activity in our community right now is back to school for hundreds of thousands of Utah kids. Yep. And for most families, making sure kids are protected against illness is on that checklist. That's right. We have Smith's pharmacist Jamie Montoro here with today to talk about vaccinations available to Utah kids. They're already back in school, so most of them have already gotten the things. What vaccinations yeah. do kids need these days? So going into kindergarten and going into junior high, typically they've got to show proof of vaccine status for pediatric vaccines that they've gotten up till kindergarten. So that's a pretty long list. And you know, usually pediatricians take good care of that. Where we have a big opportunity where is when kids get a little older, they're not going to the doctor as often for those well checks because they're doing so well. So Tdap, meningococcal, and usually a flu shot, you know, is something that we want them to get as they're going into seventh grade. Are those so. the required ones then? Right, okay. yes. What about measles? There's been a resurgence of measles. Why is that? Yeah, well, I think um, across the the country across the globe, you know, just concerns about vaccines in general. Mm -hmm. um, people opting out of childhood vaccines have just caused some of the um, diseases that we thought were eradicated, thought were pretty minimized to come back. So it is good that, again, those childhood vaccine series and even as adults were recommended to make sure we're keeping up to date on certain vaccines so that we're not spreading it around in the population. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at Smith's we, um, are there really to serve the whole community so we can offer the back to school vaccines we can offer the adult vaccines because adult vaccines are tricky too you know yeah. kids mm -hmm. are kids are having these requirement time points but for adults you know again they may not go to the doctor yeah, or may not be told they need something so well, what about the flu shot kids get that too absolutely yeah. so flu vaccine is recommended annually for everyone six months of age and older mm -hmm. that's pretty much everyone there's very few contraindications to that and um, yeah so now is the time really September October is is the time to make sure you're getting protected uh, interestingly Australia had a pretty early flu peak mm -hmm. this year so we want to make sure people have the vaccine on board, they have the time to develop immunity yeah. and be protected for the and season. The, the flu shot is changed every year. They try to guess which variety and which w will be the mm -hmm. strongest. So it's not 100% protective, but it's going to protect you against the bad one. Yeah, right? we're pretty good at guessing, um, and I shouldn't say they're smart people doing this work, <laughs> but yeah, making sure that when we put the vaccine together that it is going to target the circulating uh, variants, right. um, very similar to COVID now. Okay. So yeah. we have, are kind of on the same page with both flu and COVID where there's an annual update to the vaccine mm -hmm. based on making sure that people are protected uh, against those variants that are circulating right now. And even now we're seeing a lot of COVID cases. Yeah. Yeah. What's yes, the status of the COVID vaccine? So we just started receiving the COVID vaccine now. So it is that updated 2024, 2025 seasonal COVID yeah. vaccine, not called a booster anymore. It's really just an annual vaccine. So the nice thing is you can come get your flu shot, get your COVID shot at the same time and you're protected for, okay. you know, and through this respiratory season. I know in the past COVID was recommended to elderly and people at risk. Who is it recommended for now? Six months and older. So oh. same as the flu. Yeah. Yep, and, and the important thing, I think, with vaccines, because a lot of times younger, healthier people say, you know what, if I get a little sick, it's okay, or I don't really get sick. The thing that can happen, though, is we really uh, spread it around. We may not get as sick, but those that we love that may be at higher risk mm -hmm. can have serious consequences. And people still do die of both the COVID yeah. uh, illness and flu, and so protecting ourselves, protecting our loved ones is what it's all about. Well, what do you think is behind the recent cases, then? Well, back to school is one of the things mm -hmm. that happens, right? We, we just spread it around um, and we are under vaccinated as a population when it comes to really flu, back, flu and COVID vaccines. Okay, so kind of waning immunity mm -hmm. there yep. as we head back to school. Okay, yep. so getting the shots, uh, I guess it's probably recommended to go to the pediatrician. I know that uh, you give some shots at the mm -hmm. pharmacy, right? We so do. So let us yeah. know what, what people need to do to make sure that happens. I think what we care about is that you get it wherever it's convenient for you. And I do think that, you know, us offering vaccines makes it really convenient. You're already coming to Smith's, mm -hmm. whether it's to the pharmacy or to our stores to get your groceries. So having it convenient and somewhere that you'll go is great. We actually do vaccinate in Utah up to six months or from six months and 
mm. up, so we, you can bring your whole family in. Do you have to make an appointment? You do not. We, okay. we want to honor anybody who comes to the, our counter and says they'd like to get vaccinated. If you would prefer to make an appointment, we have our website, www.smithsfoodanddrug.com, um, that you can actually make an appointment and have us be all ready for you. And what about records? Because they'll ask, okay, uh, what's your history of vaccination yeah. shots? Where's the best place to get that? Because sometimes you might forget, you yeah. know, a few years down the road. You don't carry the card around anymore. No, right? we don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, actually, we can look that up for you. So the immunization information system within Utah called USIS is a great resource for, oh. for individuals to look up their own records, but we can look them up for you as well and make sure that you're getting everything that you're overdue for. So you didn't necessarily get a shot at Smith's. I mean, you got a statewide database. Oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Good. I always wondered how my mom kept track with nine kids. How did she know that we were all... Your card's probably yeah, then, that's right? It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it's gotten a little easier in the digital age, right? Okay. Th well, thanks so much, Jamie, okay, with you. Smith's Pharmacy. And the Utah Department of Health actually has a list of all the recommendations where you can get up to date, and you can find that on our website, KUTV.com, under health. We'll help you out.